Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy D Lord, and welcome back to another episode of our Tampa Bay Buccaneers Madden 21 Connected Franchise Series. Now, we have a pretty big matchup today, man, because you see, we are sitting currently sitting, excuse me, at four and five. The New Orleans Saints are three games ahead of us at seven and two, and we basically need, need a miracle if we're going to want to try to make the playoffs. We're going to need to string together a bunch of wins, and we're taking on the New York Jets to start things off. So they don't have a winning record, but they do have a new user coach. So we're going to go into this game completely blind. I don't know how he plays, but we're looking at the roster, and he has some speed on the outside with Devontae Smith, Denzel Mims. We're going to have to make sure we play over the top and make sure we don't get burnt by these guys. They are fast, but they aren't the best route runners. They don't have great releases, so hopefully our cornerbacks could do a good job bottling them up. Um, Chris Hearn is going to be the tight end. Offensive line, same scenario, is not that great, so hopefully our defensive line can take advantage of their offensive line being somewhat lackluster. Um, Olivia Vernon at left end, right end, they have Quentin Williams, so they have some guys that can make plays on the defensive line. A little shorthanded at defensive tackle, but you look at Judon at left outside linebacker, he's always solid. CJ Mosley, Avery Williamson, a good duo at middle linebacker. Blake Cashman at right outside linebacker. When you take a look at the cornerbacks, you have a rookie, and then you have a couple of guys that don't quite have the top end speed, but they have solid coverages. You see 81 zone coverage, which is good. Ashton Davis at safety, he has some speed to you. And then Marcus May, man. So let's go ahead and hop straight into the game. First play from scrimmage. We're gonna hand the football off and Ronald Jones right away. He is going to get met, man, in the gas. So second and 10. Now Marcus Mariota dropping back. He's going to just dump it down to the fullback, Knicks. He makes that reception, but it is third and four. Mariota is going to use his legs. That's why he's in there. That's why he is playing quarterback for us currently. He does give us that advantage right here. The Mariota looking down the field. Can he find an open receiver? Eventually he will, and that's going to be the fullback again. Two catches to start off this game. First and 10 now, a deep drop back by Mariota. He's going to find Chris Godwin, who's going to turn on the Jets. Can he get into the end zone? No, we cannot, but we are down inside of the 10-yard line right here. It is third and goal. Mariota trying to roll out to his left, and he is going to make a big mistake. Blake Cashman jumps in front of that one for an interception. Mariota does bring him down, but the Jets are going to take over at midfield. Sam Darnold, he's dropping back, looking to his left. He's going to find Denzel Mims. Look at him out running the bad pursuit angle he's going to go ahead and move the chains right here hand the football off to martin he's going to get a nice gain of about nine yards second and inches they go to the ground again white takes a big hit but he does not cough up the football third down now this is sam Darnold looking to his left and we just got beat man simply put we just got beat right there so we got to an answer back second to four hand the football off and look at ronald jones who is still performing at a very high level First and 10, Mariota looking to his left. He is going to find Evans. And look at him taking this one up the field. And he is going to go all the way. Touchdown, Tampa. And this game is all tied up at seven apiece. But here comes Martin. A nice run again, taking this one across midfield. Potential touchdown saving tackle from Antoine Winfield. Right here, they go to the other running back in white. He's taking this one to the left side. And he's going to get a lot of yards once again. So we are getting gashed on the ground. But right here, it is third and 20 you know he's not going to the ground here sam donald he is dropping back and the pressure got to him and he missed the throw so they're gonna have to go ahead and punt the football so we have it at the 10 yard line mariota rolling out to his left but he's gonna look down the field and he is gonna throw a dot to rob gronkowski a fantastic catch first and 10 though mariota now trying to go to the right and no no, no, no. He is going to throw an interception, man. We thought we had a step on him with Chris Godwin. Clearly, that was not the case. So, here comes Sam Darnold now taking over great field position. Look at this. Going to find Smith. And Smith's going to take this one out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. But they are right there. We got to step up on defense. Headed off to White. And White somehow getting into the end zone touchdown jets they go up 14 to 7 but here comes marcus mariota can he lead a comeback right away he gets off with a nice start completing that one to chris godwin now ronald jones taking this one to the right side he will get a gain of about eight 
yards. Second down now. Hand it off to Jones again. Nice little cut up. That's going to move the chains as we cross midfield into New York Jet territory. Goward, another reception, and he's going to roll forward, and that is going to move the chains again. Now we go with a counter. Look at Ronald Jones cutting back. Juke move, and Ronald Jones is gone. What a run from Rojo. Like I said, man, he had an impressive season one. He is keeping that momentum for, um, going for season number two. Talking about uh, momentum, we get a sack from Shaq Barrett. That's going to make them punt the football. So we got it. We have an opportunity to take the lead. And on third down, Mike Evans coming up with the reception. A great throw from Marcus Mariota. First down, handed off to Ronald Jones. Juke move there, spin move there. And look at this. He is not going down. He's going to keep on fighting, but eventually he will go down. But that was still one heck of a run from Ronald Jones. Third down now. Marcus Mariota looking to his right. He will find the sure-handed Rob Gronkowski. Second to go from the one-yard line. We'll hand off to Leonard Fournette. And absolutely nowhere. Nowhere to run there. So now it is third to go. We go to the ground again. And Leonard Fournette will be stopped short. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to settle for a field goal that's going to give us a 17-14 to 14 lead heading in to halftime. So now in the second half, Sam Darnold and the Jets, they're trying to get some points back on the board. Darnold rolling out to his left, and that one's going to fall incomplete. Two targets in the area, so that was a little close, but it falls incomplete right here. It is third and nine. Darnold looking to his left, and this one is going to be called a big hit from Jamel Dean, but that's not going to knock it loose. So second and 12, Sam Donald looking to his right. This one's going to be caught, and this one's going to be a nice reception, taking this to third and two. They give it to Le'Veon Bell. He is short. What do you do here? You go for it, of course. Fourth and inches. They hand it off to Le'Veon Bell in Tampa Bay. They come up with a stop. So take over, third and down, and look at this. We get bailed out with the pass interference. So we're going to take that. Marcus Mariota now. He is looking. He gets rid of the football, and he is going to find Mike Evans on the right side, making that reception. Second and three now. Mariota dropping back. Can he find somebody open? Doesn't need to. He's going to go ahead and try to use his leg. Psych, throwing it to Chris Godwin, who makes that reception. Second and goal, handed off to Rojo. Look at that spin move, but we're not in the end zone. Third and goal. Can we get in a toss Leonard for net? And yes, we can now taking a 10 point lead here in the third quarter so here comes sam donald they need to get some points they probably need to get some points pretty quickly they get that that nice reception right there third down though trying to pick up a first they're going to throw it all to Le'Veon bell and he's going to be short of that first down marker so we end up taking over after a fourth down conversion that did not work and right away Ronald Jones picks up a first down. Third down now. We're trying to convert once again. Mariota looking down the middle of the field, and he is going to find Chris Godwin. And just like that, we are back inside of the 10-yard line. Mariota now. Can he find an open receiver? Yes, he can, because Godwin is getting into the end zone for a touchdown. We're up 31-14 to 14 here in the fourth quarter. Sam Darnold taking a shot down the field, and look at that catch. Going up and making a great play. First down now, Donald again. Trying to keep that magic going. Taking another shot deep down the field. And this one's going to be caught. And this is going to be a touchdown. So the Jets are back in this game. Only a 10-point game. They have the football now. Six minutes to go. Sam Donald looking to his left. And Sam Donald's going to throw an interception. Jamel Dean is going to jump in front of that one. And now we are trying to put the game away. Mariota looking to his left. A crazy throw. But Mike Evans goes up, and he makes a crazy catch. Second and 10, Mariota dropping back, has a lot of time. He's going to end up using his legs this time for, for real, and he will slide down safely. But on the next play, it does not matter because Mariota throwing a dot right down the seam to Chris Gawa, man. And we go up 38 to 21, and now really for the Jets. They are in desperation mode. They need to get something going. Look at Sam Darnold taking a big hit. From Jamel Dean. The next play, though, he is okay because he's going to sling the rock. Sam Donald to the left. He's going to complete that one. Nice juke move right there. And the Jets, they are down to the 49-yard line right here, though. Sam Donald, he's going to drop back. And he is going to throw a bad interception. Jordan Whitehead jumping in front of that one, man. And that is basically going to put the game away. They do have a chance if they're going to use their timeouts. But right here, Ronald Jones cutting up the field, getting a block. And Ronald Jones is going to take this one inside the five-yard line. He will give himself up. We will come out. We will take a knee in victory formation. And that will be the ball game. 38-21, to 21, man. We come out on top. 
put up 503 yards of total offense, probably one of our better offensive performances in quite a while. We did lose the turnover differential. We did turn the ball over three times compared to their two times, but we still had a good day. Marcus Mariota started rough, but ended 21 for 27, 339, three touchdowns, three interceptions. Sam Darnold, he was 14 for 24 for 210, two touchdowns, and three interceptions. Take a look at the ground game. Ronald Jones, 18 carries, 148 yards, and a touchdown. Very good game for him. Leonard Fournette really couldn't get anything going. Six carries. Only six yards, but look at the receivers. Chris Gow was seven for 132 touchdowns. Mike Evans, six catches, 126 yards, one touchdown. Then they have Rob Gronkowski contributing four catches for 40. And then next, the fullback, two for 28. Looking at the leading defenders, Levante Davis, seven tackles in this game. Devin White has six tackles in the game. Jamel Dean had a couple of big hits. He finishes with four. Jordan Whitehead led us in TFLs. Our sack came from Shaq Barrett. And then our interceptions came from Whitehead and Jamel now, after the game, we did get an upgrade for Marcus Mariota. We are going to go with strong arm, hoping that we can get his throwing power to move up. And we do not get that on this upgrade. Hopefully, we can. He only has 87 throw power, and that is definitely a stat that we want to improve if we want him to kind of be our franchise guy moving forward. Jabril Cox, he does get an upgrade as well. We will go with run stopper. That's what he's been doing at the outside linebacker position. So we're going to go ahead and keep that up, man. He gets solid upgrades here. Plus two to the block shed, plus two to the tackling, and even his zone coverage goes up one. And then Parnell Motley, he gets the upgrade at the quarterback spot. We will go man-to-man, -man, and he ends up getting plus three awareness, which was the, the big one. So taking a look at the standings now, like I said, we're still three games back of the Saints. They are 7-2. We are 5-5. Five and five. And when you look at the rest of the standings in the NFC, it's not looking that great for us, but we do have a chance if we can maybe get past either the Bears or get past the Lions, who have the last spot currently at 6-4, and four, man. So we'll see what ultimately ends up happening, but the season's not over. We have a chance, and we'll see if Mariota can keep performing at the level that he performed at today, man. But that is everything that I have for this episode as usual. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.